Hi everyone, it's Emmanuel Kadosh. I wanted to invite you all to subscribe to ILTV Plus, where you can find our daily news and updates about Israel. And not only that, but live feeds, entertainment, our kosher food show, and so much more. Needless to say, your subscription to ILTV Plus helps us grow and create more content while also supporting the state of Israel. Our app is available on all platforms and devices, so I'll see you guys there. Welcome to ILTV's Israel Daily. I'm Lital Shemesh and coming up in today's newscast. Iran planning to disconnect at least 20 more IAEA surveillance cameras from nuclear sites across the country. Is this a strong negotiation tactic or another nailing the coffin of the JCPOA? Meanwhile, some 4,600 new coronavirus infections reported overnight. Was Israel too quick to end the restrictions or is this just a new way of life? And finally, Top Gun Maverick breaking the bank at box offices worldwide, but supposedly without permission. The owners to the franchise Origins are now suing Paramount Productions to kill the film. The coalition in trouble and risk of collapse practically at any moment. But at the invitation of President Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, Prime Minister Naftali Bennett is still heading out for a snap visit to the United Arab Emirates. Asaf Nisan with the details. I Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, Today we בקשר המיוחד שנרקם בין שתי המדינות למען צמיחה וביטחון של שני עמים. Scheduled to meet at the President's Palace in Abu Dhabi Thursday, Israeli Prime Minister Bennett and UAE Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed now set to discuss a range of regional issues, and chief among the topics, coordinations against Iran, particularly in the wake of the IAEA and the West censor on Tehran for breaking further away from the renewed nuclear talks, as well as the UN's monitoring program. In fact, Iran even shutting off two IAA cameras at nuclear sites overnight while threatening this morning to block an additional 20. This will be Bennett's and Sheikh bin Zayed's second in-person meeting in the UAE and the third overall in recent months. And now with more on Iran, is Tehran planning to further cut back on the IAEA's nuclear surveillance cameras? Joining me, expert on Iran from the Jerusalem Institute for Strategy and Security, Alexander Greenberg. Hello. Hi, hey, good afternoon. So in response for the IAEA's Iran shutting down 27 surveillance cameras across various nuclear sites, what's the future of the JCPOA? JCPOA, sorry. Well, it's very difficult to prophesize what, uh, what the future of the GCPOA will be, but the most uh, probable development would be uh, an end to the talks with Iran, because uh, shutting down surveillance cameras is dealing a blow to, to the whole effort of the International Atomic Energy Agency and the American team. There is no way to come back. If only Iran again. There is. I cannot uh, rule out the possibility that Iran will repaint, so to speak, after uh, several days, and it will uh, come back to its uh, from its original decision to shut down the cameras. And it's uh, it's uh, it is what Iran used to do several times uh, in the course of the recent years. Mm -hmm. So the, the IAEA likewise uh, charging that Iran planning to heavily ramp up uranium enrichment and they're already at 60%. Is there even any going back from that? 
Uh, no, there is no way to go back from that because was, we are talking about uh, a certain amount of uh, fissile material. To watch full episodes of ILTV's Israel Daily and tons of other content from Israel, visit our website at ILTV.tv or download the ILTV Plus app.